Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to connect the CP1 HPLC with the Omron NBHMI using the CP1 WCIF 11 card. RS485 communication. First, let's create a program. For the HMI, I'm using NB Designer software to design the HMI. Create a new program. File new, save this program on the desktop. I'll name the program C1HNBRS485. First, I'll select the HMI. The HMI I'm using is the NB7WTWOOB. For the PLC, I'll choose CP1H. For the connection method, I'll select COM2. I'll set the communication speed and format. I'll click on the NBHMI and select COM2 is RS485. The baud rate is 19,200. The baud rate is 19,200. Data bits, 8. Parity check, even. Stop bit, 1. Let's double check. RS485, baud rate, 19,200, data bits, 8. Parity check, even, stop bit, 1. Now, I'll start designing. I'll change the background color to make it look nice. Change the background color to white. I want to display the value from the PLC's memory. The CP1H PLC has an analog memory area adjusted by a potentiometer. I'm referring to the A642 memory area. I'll choose a 7 segment LED font, DF7 seg. Font, DF7 seg. Size is 72. Display position, centered. I'll label the memory area. I'll choose the Arial Black font. You can choose any font you like. Size 30. The memory area is labeled A642. Compile and download to the NBHMI. Now, let's move to the PLC. Create a new program in CX Programmer. Select CP1H, my PLC is from the X series. Press OK to create. In this example, we're only reading the A642 memory area. So, no programming is needed, just setting the communication. Parameters. I'm using port 2. Select custom and set baud rate, 19,200, data bits, 8. Parity check, even, stop bit, 1. Mode, host link. Now, let's download to the PLC. Even though there's no program, we still need to download the communication settings to the PLC. Check the settings and download.
Now, let's connect the cables between the PLC and HMI to see if it works. Wiring diagram for the CP1H PLC. For the CP1H PLC, I'm using the CP1W CIF 11 communication option board. The CP1W CIF 11 connects to RDA and RDB+. RDA, PLC, connects to RDA, HMI RDB plus PLC, connects to RDB plus HMI now, I'll make the connections. Just two wires are needed. Attach the CP1W CIF 11 to the CP1H. The other end. Connects to the COM2 port of the HMI. The COM1 and COM2 ports are labeled. COM1 is for RS-232. COM2 is for RS-485. In this example, I need to connect to COM2. I'll power on the system. On the CP1H PLC, there's a potentiometer. This potentiometer adjusts the value of the A642 memory area. The potentiometer changes the memory value from 0 to FF, HEX. This corresponds to 0 to 255 in BCD. The 7 segment LED on the PLC displays the A642 value. HEX. The NBHMI displays the value in BCD. Now, I'll adjust the potentiometer. The 7 segment LED on the PLC will also change. The highest value is 255, corresponding to FF on the 7 segment LED. I've just demonstrated how to connect the Omron NBHMI to the Omron PLC using the RS485 standard. Thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you so much everyone.